Hi, welcome to the world of Prachi. Today's video is going to be about Tarubandhari Tiger Reserve. In this video, I am going to talk about a two-night stay in Taruba, the transport, how to get here, the stay, the food, and basically booking the safaris and if there is anything else apart from safari over here. Let's talk about how you can get here to Taruba. If you are taking the train, you can get down at Chandrapur station or Nagpur station. You can also take the flight and get down at Nagpur airport. From Nagpur airport or Nagpur railway station, the drive is about three hours. And from Chandrapur railway station, it is about one hour by road. For this particular trip, we booked a car via Zoom car. However, there are other options available like booking a cab through another agency. I advise having your own car for the whole duration of this day because it is not easy to get around within Taroba as there are not many car rental agencies over here. And also, there have been tiger sightings on the road over here. Now let's talk about why people come here to Taroba. It's mainly for the safaris. Uh, you can explore safaris via the jeep option, but also via the canter van, which is basically an open bus. Um, if you want to explore Taroba Tiger Reserve, there are numerous gates. However, Moharli Gate and Junona Gate is quite popular as there are many resorts uh, nearby to these gates. There are three time slots to do safari. Uh, it is morning, noon and night. However, not all gates have all the three slots open. So for example, Moharli Gate has morning and afternoon safaris. Bookings for the safari can only be done online. I will put the link in the description below. Bookings for safari can be done in three time slots. So bookings open 120 days in advance, that is the first set of bookings, and then 60 days in advance, and then there is Tatkal bookings also. So the second slot is generally the cheapest uh, booking period. This set of bookings is only for Jeep Safari. So basically it comes with a driver and a guide included, and you can book, I think, a maximum of five or six people per Jeep. Another way to do the safari is via the canter bus. The bookings for this can be done 15 days in advance. Uh, the bookings is done on a per seat basis and you can get a canter bus for the morning and afternoon slot at Moharli Gate. So this is what we did. We got to book a night safari from Junona Gate. However, we didn't get a chance to book any other safari online. So what we did is we got up at 5.30 am, we queued up to get a chance to get into a canter bus and fortunately there were four people who didn't turn up and I was first in line so we got two tickets to Moharli Gate morning safari and thank God for that because that is when we got a tiger sighting. The best way to do a safari according to me is via the jeep irrespective of the time of the day. It is because you go at your own pace and hence you can get to many number of spots. Uh, Compared to the canter bus, which has many people and there's a lot of noise also in the bus. So less chances of getting a tiger sighting done. The night safari experience is really wonderful. We didn't get to see a tiger, but it was quite nice to see the stars and be in this peace and quiet and hear like the calls of deers and birds. So there are two zones, the buffer zone and core zone to understand about the tiger. Taduba Andhari Tiger Reserve. The buffer zone is where there are human settlements and there are tiger sightings done there too. But the core zone is where there are only tigers living and like animals living but there are no human settlements. Phones are not allowed to be used in the safari and they are extremely strict about it. They take your phone and put it in a lockbox which is on the bus itself. However, you can use your camera at you at a cost of 250 rupees per camera. There are many activities to do apart from safaris also, although I would suggest that you do a safari if you have come here. Uh, other activities include a walking tour, a cycling tour, um, a kayaking uh, ride, 
and there is also a, a chance to do bird watching standing on a machan however all these activities are not available at all times of the year you can just check with the hotel that you are staying at during your time of the stay and see which activities are available we did the kayaking experience it was 200 per person for an hour long and it was a very beautiful experience where two of us were in a kayak and there was another person who was also guiding us so pretty amazing experience there are few options available for accommodation here in moharli there are two three high end places as far as i know um, but there are also a few homestays or like basic sort of hotels we decided to stay in mtdc taruba the rooms here irrespective of the room category have ac we stayed in the most basic room here which is the standard room category it has basic amenities and an ac we paid 2800 plus taxes per night for double occupancy food here at mtdc is not that great so i wouldn't recommend it apart from the breakfast which is all right but not the lunch and dinner uh, we found another place over here which is called akska homestay they also serve dinner so we tried uh, their dinner which was a chicken saoji thali which was quite nice i recommend doing a two night stay over here in tadova If you want to do, let's say, two or three safaris and do a bit of other activities too. However, if you're looking to do, let's say, a night safari and a morning safari, then you can do a one night stay also. But that will be quite hectic. At the end of our holiday, we drove back to Nagpur station and took a train back home. Our trip to Tadova was quite memorable. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do check out my other videos too and hit subscribe on my channel. See you next time.